we've seen the U.S. outperform. At some point, can Europe catch up with the U.S., yes or no? Well, yes, what will happen, what we find in these secular uh, trends, they tend to be global in magnitude. Right. And we will see uh, Europe maintain the same kind of double-digit returns, a little bit more of a lag. And uh, what has happened is over the course of a secular bull, and this is part of the reason we have the Magnificent Seven creating this very narrow market, the U.S. is now um, close to 65% of the market cap of the all-country world index. And so, therefore, it has that impact where, you know, if the U.S. gets into a bear market, it's going to it's going to have that negative influence on, on uh, the rest of the uh, rest of the markets. So, Tim, what does all of this mean for our asset allocation? Does it automatically mean we remain overweight, the U.S.? Also, we're pretty constructive on European, on European earnings and European companies overall. And does it tell us anything about China and Asia overall? Well, we're, we're you know, we, we were overweight. We went overweight at the end of 2022. And then we went to maximum overweight at the end of last year. And we've been overweight the U.S. in our regional framework since last July. So that is still what our indicators are telling us. Stay overweight equities. Stay overweight the U.S. in a global framework. Right. Europe will be a market weight. What's happening with Asia, Japan now is a participant. And we're market weight Japan. Japan, the Nikkei, of course, has gone back, back to record highs. We wouldn't watch for that market to broaden out. In emerging markets in general, the issue there is you have good performance from emerging European markets, Latin America's performed better, but really the drag has been emerging Asia, which has had that influence from China. But China has started to look a little bit better. Emerging Asia, China, look like they're starting to try to form a bottom. So that's something we need to pay attention to, mm -hmm. see if they can get going. We're seeing a lot of asset allocators actually taking a tactical position in China because they're marginally more constructive on that market. Agree or disagree? Uh, more, yes, I'd, I'd agree with that. I don't know if it's time yet to take a position on it I, because we've had a lot of these false starts before. Right. We need to see if Japan, uh, China rather, can start to really form a bottom, break out, and have actually more uh, participation in that, in that uptrend, which is too early to really say that.